Have you ever wondered if you are flying along using your DJI drone with a mobile phone or a tablet and all of a sudden this device that you're using to be able to see your live telemetry where you are and your video feed actually breaks on you? Well, worry not, because in this video, I'm going to answer that very question as to what exactly happens if you are happily flying along, capturing some footage, and all of a sudden, this device actually breaks. So let's get into it. Now using a mobile phone when we are flying is really, really beneficial. It allows us to see all our GPS data, it allows us to see our live feed, access all the settings, and obviously the maps and our compass to be able to establish where we are in the air. But what happens if this mobile phone or tablet basically breaks, runs out of battery, freezes for any host of reasons? Well, I'm going to show you exactly what can happen and most importantly, why you shouldn't panic. So we've got our controller fully charged and our drone fully charged. So let's proceed and go out and take a short flight just to demonstrate exactly what we can do. So we're going to begin our flight out then. Now it is a little bit foggy, okay? So this is why it's really important to keep visual line of sight of your drone at all times. Let's just put that in normal mode so we can activate some obstacle avoidance. And of course, like I say, I can see the drone pretty much at all times, just over there. So what I'm going to do now is just simulate what would happen if I lost this display. Now the way we're going to do that is quite simply just unplug our controller. As you can see, RC not connected. But if I take a look at the drone, it is literally just still hovering in the air. And just to show that even though we've got no connection, obviously this is hanging loose. What you will now see, because I'm going to switch to the video feed from the drone, is all I need to do is just come backwards. So even though we have got no control, oh, so even though we have got no screen or anything like that, by maintaining the visual line of sight of the drone, as you can see, if I just turn that round, oh, that way, there you go, look. So as you can see, I can now fly this drone all the way back to me. And essentially, you do not need to panic whatsoever. So let's just fly the drone all the way back. So there we go. So as you can see, I've got no um, controller plugged into my phone. I've got no live feed, but of course the drone remains completely and utterly usable. So let's just try that again and just show you the obvious other thing that you can do. So let's just go backwards. Okay, let's just go back out. Now obviously I don't need to go as far just to demonstrate this. I just wanted to put you in the picture so you know, uh, basically you shouldn't really panic. So I've just flown all the way back out just so you can see the other obvious thing that you can do in this situation. Of course I've got no bearings, I've got no orientation, I've got no display still, okay, but I can just by turning my head see exactly where the drone is. And of course as I've just demonstrated, even though we've got no feed through our phone, we still have full control because of course the drone has got a direct link to the controller and it's not operated through the app. So of course all I need to do is press the return to home button. So with that that return to home pressed as you can see the drone has just flown all the way back to me okay and it is now going to just descend pretty much on top of my head but of course we've still got no screen to cancel the return to home so all we need to do is just press that button once the drone will stop descending and of course as usual we can just take full manual control of the drone and the drone is of course back with us so let's just land the drone and we'll come up with a bit of a summary So there we go folks, that hopefully answers that query. If you was ever worried or panicking about what would happen if the device you was using, such as a mobile phone or tablet, basically broke, ran out of battery, died for whatever reason, whilst you was conducting your flight, worry not, you have still got full control of your drone, okay? Because the link is directly between the drone and the controller, and the app is simply an enabler to be able to allow you to see the GPS data and all the things I mentioned earlier. Now it has to be said that this scenario basically only exists exists if you did at some point have this app running when you turned on your DJI drone. Essentially, if you did not have your mobile phone plugged in and the DJI account registered or logged in, essentially you can still just take off, but the drone will be limited to 50 meters in distance or 30 meters in altitude. So hopefully you found this video useful. Of course, if you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. It tells the YouTube algorithm more people just like you might want to watch my content. Subscribe if you're awesome. And until next time, see you again soon.